Hi, welcome to Savi Tutorials. I am Shri Kumari. I am your course instructor for this particular subject called Engineering Geology Laboratory, which is prescribed by VTU and it belongs to fourth semester syllabus. Today we will be discussing about thickness of strata problem. As I discussed in the introduction session, the beginning three practices we are mainly concentrating on the hard strata's characteristics. So the first among the three we are going to start discussing. Thickness of strata. In this case, first imagine you have a horizontal surface here and this is the ground level. You have hard strata which is present horizontal to the earth surface. If this is a field condition, it is very ideal condition. Suppose in a civil engineer point of view, if you have a building here, the complete load of the building will be evenly distributing into the horizontal strata. But in most of the cases, this ideal condition is very rare to get. The condition will be always, suppose this is again the horizontal strata horizontal surface that is ground surface, hard start which is present to the below to the earth will be inclined like this. In this case, you are building loading will not be equally or it will not be even into the hard strata, it will be uneven. In this case, we have to study the properties of this hard strata in details. That is what this particular problem is mainly concentrating on. Now. This is your ground level and this is one of the inclined strata. Here we have some major terminologies to be discussed before going to the actual problem. That is nothing but the exposed portion of the hard strata to the above surface. That from one end of that exposure to another end that is called the width of outcrop of the strata. And the angle of inclination with respect to the horizontal plane is called as theta that is angle of inclination again. And the actual thickness between the upper bedding plane and lower bedding plane which will be the perpendicular thickness that is called the true thickness abbreviated as TT. And another one is vertical thickness from the upper bedding plane to lower bedding, bedding plane that is called VT. These are the major terminologies we are going to repeat in the practicing session of the problem. And again, there are two methods for uh, finding out the data of the hard strata. One is mathematical method that is nothing but using some empirical, very Im simple Im empirical formula we are going to find out the different data which are missing in the given area. And first method is mathematical method. Here we have different three types of very simple empirical formula that is is equal to Vt is equal to W into tan theta and Tt is equal to W into sin theta and we have another equation to find out Tt that is Vt into cos theta. So, using these three equations, we can find out the missing data which is available from the area. And another one is graphical method that as per the dimension we will be discussing. Here, uh, in the first uh, type, first type data given will be W that is width of outcrop and uh, angle of inclination theta and you have to find out the true thickness and vertical thickness both uh, using mathematical method and graphical method. Mathematical method you have equations in order to find out uh, vertical thickness you have w and tan theta. True thickness is w into sin theta. So we will see the question now. A cold seam is exposed on a horizontal ground. It is dipping 30 degree towards west. Its width of outcrop is 360 meter. Determine its true thickness and vertical thickness. So here already the values are given. That is uh, W it is uh, given as 360 meter and the angle of inclination is given as 
30 degree. So, you can take this equation to find out first vertical thickness that is uh, W 360 into tan 30. You will be getting 207.8 uh, you can say 208 meters and for true thickness you have uh, W into sin theta apply the values that is 360 into sin 30 degree you will be getting 180 meters this is what using mathematical method now we will see how to find out the answers using the graphical method here what is the scale we are following is usually our uh, in usually in, in all the geological mapping case we are taking 100 meter is equal to 1 centimeter or uh, whatever the usual uh, scaling we are taking opposite to that so here 360 meters it will become 3.6 centimeters so, so take the scale mark uh, uh, first you can draw a horizontal line and mark any one point as A on the line from A to another point you can take 3.6 mark the point P this with the A to B distance is called as W that is 3.6 centimeters now take the protractor and uh, give the inclination that is with respect to the geographic direction here you have east and west in the question it is given it as towards west so keep it on the point a first take 30 degree you can take 30 degree that is uh, through the line and at b also same uh, 30 degree you have to take and afterwards we can mention that this is uh, your lower bedding plane and this is the upper bedding plane and angle of inclination is 30 degree. Now take uh, the protractor again and mark the true thickness. True thickness is actual thickness that is uh, keep it parallel, keep your protractor parallel to the upper bedding plane. Draw a perpendicular to your upper bedding plane towards the lower bedding plane then only it will become the actual thickness. We can join the line till here it is sufficient and the vertical thickness as I already told you in the first uh, introduction part that is uh, perpendicular to the ground level so a 90 degree towards the lower bedding plane and this is your vertical thickness. Now you can measure this with your scale that is you are getting here vertical thickness is uh, vertical thickness you are getting it is 206 uh, or something in the graphical method graphical method you are getting vtrs 206 meters here you have it is 208 meters one or two digit variation is permissible and measure the vertical thickness here you are getting it is 1.8 exactly that is the same value we go to using the mathematical method also that is about the first time so as uh, we move to the second time here we have data given vertical thickness and w and to find out true thickness on theta here in the example itself i will show you it will be the vertical thickness will be given indirectly that is nothing but a cold seam is exposed on a level ground its width of its dip towards west its width of outcrop is 180 meter a borehole sunk from its upper bedding plane and touches the lower bedding plane at a depth of 105 meter. Determine its true thickness and amount of inclination. So here uh, it's already understood that width of outgrowth it is given as uh, 180 meter in the second type. Type 2. W it is given as 180 meters and 
you see the uh, second sentence that is a bow hole sung from its upper bedding plane and touches the lower bedding plane at a depth of 105 so you can uh, see that suppose uh, this is your level ground and this is how your buds are inclined a bow hole it's always it will be vertically down so a bow hole it is starting from here and it is uh, um, going down and it is reaching the lower bedding plane at a depth of 105 so if you draw the line and uh, with the direct information we can make out that this is your vertical thickness determine true thickness and amount of inclination so again uh, we have the equations here that is uh, um, vt is equal to w into tan theta theta will be tan inverse of vt by w you will get the uh, value here true thickness can be w into sin theta direct application of value itself and if we uh, see the type 2 in this case again take your scale and uh, uh, 108 it's a very like uh, very less dimension mark any point as a and take 1.8 you will get b here and we don't know what is the inclination but we know only the vertical thickness vertical thickness you can give at the point b you are giving going to give the vertical thickness vertical thickness it will be perpendicular to your ground surface draw a line take 105 here that is uh, 1.05 you will be getting a small line like this and now join from A to this point so you are getting the lower bedding plane and using two scale you can draw a parallel line you will be getting the upper bedding plane so take a scale Keep it like this. Keep one of the scale parallel to your lower bedding plane like this. And keep another scale on the left side. Now move the right hand side scale towards the point where you wanted to draw. That is like this. And the left, left hand side scale should not be moved. You will get. And you can, uh, this is a simple method. You can use two set square also. This also will be very accurate only. Here you are getting the upper bedding plane. And now we can measure this angle. That will be almost the same as your uh, method. You are getting theta as uh, 30 degree you will be getting. And your true thickness it will be 90 meters you will be getting. Now we are moving into the type 3. In this case type 3 vertical thickness and uh, theta will be given and you have to find out the true thickness and width of outcrop. We have mathematical equation true thickness Vt into cos theta that is uh, T this will be W. W will be Vt divided by tan inverse we, we can find out. Graphical method that is again show the straight line. You can mark any of the point as A and see width of outgrowth it is not given in the question so you are marking the point a at here the angle of inclination it is it will be given in the question take 35 degree towards west 35 degree so here you can keep the point at a and take um, 35 degree this is 35 degree and you are getting one of the plane and uh, vertical thickness will be given in the question that is uh, vertical thickness hmm, keep it on the point a and mark take 90 degree uh, 1.5 meter that is you can using the scale you can mark 1.5 this will be your vert uh, vertical thickness and again the same method for drawing the parallel line keep it parallel to drag it towards here and you are getting the point b this is your lower bedding plane and this is your upper bedding plane and true thickness it will be perpendicular between 
lower bedding plane and upper bedding plane. You are getting point like this. This is true thickness and this is vertical thickness. This will be the angle of inclination. Thank you for watching the video. And most important is stay tuned to Savi Tutorials for further most details about individual practices. And if you have any doubt, you can write in the comment box which is down to the video. Thank you.